respond to four specific questions that were posed by Director Nigeria concerning the preparation of the uh, environmental documents for the SR-710 SR project. Uh, we have provided a written memorandum to your board responding to those questions. You know, if you uh, wish further discussion, uh, further questions, we can talk about those. And without waiving the confidentiality of the document that was submitted. Are there any comments from sir? Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Safer. But the one point I want to raise is that this almost didn't make it on the agenda. So there's a little bit of last minute scrambling uh, Friday to have this posted on Monday at the appropriate time. So to the extent that that happens uh, to me or to any other director that puts forth a valid motion, I want staff to be sure that uh, there is not a miscommunication between what was said. And we were actually pulling transcripts from the meeting to say, was this really a motion? Was this etc. So uh, I appreciate getting it on, but let's try and avoid a, uh, a last minute uh, falling off the agenda. Uh, and there is a memo, and I appreciate that. Is that attorney-client privilege? Yes. And who holds that privilege? The board. Um, as a whole? Correct. No, no, I haven't. And I haven't. For the record, I haven't, uh, I haven't transmitted this to it. To anyone, um, am I allowed to discuss? I mean, so can we discuss that in any way? Or this is solely okay. Well, you know, we can discuss the issues. We can't discuss the memo itself. But, you know, we can okay. Discuss the issues. Well, let me then say, uh, do you agree with the memo? Are you? Are you? Uh, have you changed your mind? What? There was a memo out, and it was about a couple of days ago. The memo has my initials on it. And, okay, right and that fully reflects the uh, state of the legal opinion of Metro at this point. The memo responds to the specific questions that you asked. Memo that you signed. Did you agree with what you signed? <laughs> the, 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 memo, the, the memo responds to the questions that you asked. If you have other questions or related questions, they may not be addressed by that memo. But, you know. I mean, this isn't a booby trap. Jerry talks about the 710 tunnel and everyone. I don't, I'm not making a lot of friends on the board with the 710 tunnel. I mean, let's talk about that. But this was important so, so we as a board could determine what our relationship is with Caltrans. And if we're going to you know, skin our knuckles on this, let's make sure that we're doing it for that reason and we're not overshadowed and superseded by Caltrans. And you do address several of the issues in the memo. I appreciate that. And may I suggest that if we're going to discuss the content of the memo, that we do it in closed session? And I'm not discussing that. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm just thanking you for that. I just want to keep it clean, man. And uh, I appreciate that. Okay. So is that why it wasn't on the agenda? That because it was confidential? Attorney client privilege? No, what had happened is. And what is an attorney client privilege? Let me just ask you that. Because you asked the question of county council, so I was responding to the to the the questions in a, in a written memorandum. Uh, staff was, you know, quite frankly, staff was going to prepare a, a memo, uh, its own memo. I, you know, I told them that you know I could prepare the memo because it was addressed to me, and, and that's that's how it ended up happening this way. I suspect if staff wanted to put something on the on the um, agenda, you know, with its own responses, it certainly could have done that. But to protect the uh, the confidentiality of, uh, of, a, of a request made of council, I prepared a written memorandum and submitted it to the board. Okay, I have a uh, uh, I have an item which is before the board, which may I mean, does this violate attorney-client privilege if I address certain items that are addressed in the memo? Yes. Let me let me, let, let me do this. Let me do this. Rather than have an open discussion on this, uh, let me keep this off for the moment and speak to you privately. Uh, and if uh, perhaps uh, I still believe that we need to make this uh, open in terms of a, a motion, I will address that with you and get your advice as to the uh, confidential nature of such an opinion and where we can go from here. I mean, again, just the bottom line is where are we as a board in terms of our rights and obligations with Caltrans on this tunnel issue? That, that was the only 
point of this, and I will, Madam Chair, I will remain silent now. Thank you, Madam Chair. I was just thinking, if we broaden the conversation a bit, to ask, beyond the legal, the narrow legal issues, what are the practical issues which describe our relationships, as opposed to the narrow legal issues? So if you don't mind, if you'd like, I'll join that conversation with you. Yes, I would like to do that, and we can maybe sort out. If you'd like, I'd join it too. We can sort out the details before we bring it to the board and just have an ongoing discussion. 